I want to talk to you about probably the number one thing that can create success or sales or whatever it is you want in life, and that's attitude. I'm going to give you just a few ideas to gain, maintain a phenomenal selling attitude, living attitude, to accomplish the most success that you could possibly get in life. I want you to think about before you ever go into a situation that's going to be important to you, whether it's a sale, whether it's uh, to interview for a job, I want you to get in the right frame of mind and I want you to do it by saying the word showtime. If I say the word showtime, do you notice that I have a smile on my face? Do you notice that I am creating a different energy and I am making myself aware that whoever I'm getting ready to speak to is listening to one radio channel, WIIFM, what's in it for me? That's all they care about is what's in it for me. I have to be ready. I have to walk in with the type of attitude, with the type of smile, with the type of energy that would get somebody enthusiastic and excited about me. If I'm carrying my burdens, my past, my problems into any situation, it's not going to work. I can't have empathy thinking about me I have to think about you. So if I'm going to walk into any selling situation or any job situation or any situation that's important to me, I try to say the word showtime before I begin. It just reminds me to clean the plate, to make all the, the beginnings fresh and start and energetic. The next thing I want you to be aware of is that anytime you get a bad situation in sales or in your life, I want you to think about how you can get past it. Don't let bad people keep you down. Don't let rude people keep you down. Don't let no's and rejection keep you down. So I want you to say a few different things. When you get a hold of that nasty person, mean, rude to you, you get rejected, I just want you to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because you know in your heart that one out of 20 people you deal with in a given week might be a royal jerk. And if that person was it, your odds are looking pretty good the rest of the week. So just look at it in perspective. And I'm going to give you the third word that's the most important word or phrase, I should say, in sales or in life that you have to use. No matter what happens, whether you do good or bad, I always want you to think and say the word next. Next. The reason is if you are enjoying your sale or success so much that you're not using the momentum to move on, you're wasting a golden opportunity. But also I want you to realize that if you're beating yourself to death because it didn't go the way you wanted it to, you're also wasting another opportunity. The people who do the best in life, that do the best in sales or business or anything that they do, they have the ability to bounce back and bounce back quicker and I want you to have that anchoring phrase where you say the word next. Next, whether you sell something or do well. Next, whether you don't do so well. Just say the word next. Try those three anchoring phrases. See what happens in your life. See what happens in your sales. See what happens in your business. I promise you, you will get better results. I'm Mark Tewart. Make sure you go to my website at marktewart.com. M-A-R-K. T-E-W-A-R-T dot com. Sign up for your free newsletter. Get all the tips and have a great day and great selling.